do well to subscribe. I should be releasing a lot of videos to help you be abreast with the latest in technology. We're looking at how we're going to run a simple design and today we want to discuss on how we can design a complementary car you know, of your choice. But before we go into that, uh, I will give you an assignment. Just go back you know, to Google and read about color theory. But to just give you a foundation, you know, color theory is also known as color wheel. You know, remember our kindergarten days? You know, your filter wheels, or what people call or refer to as Newton disc. You know, these are things you could learn. You know, we learned it in our art classes. So if you have not done that, if you didn't do that then, you know, you have to do it now. It's the, it's the very basis of art and so, so important. You know, Isaac Newton was the mover of the color cycle. You know, when you look at his books, that talks about optics. You know, in 1666 from history, you know, that very book it showed a cycle consisting of several portions where each portion holds a unique color. The color wheel was created schematically and, you know, it included the primary, secondary, and tertiary colors all together. And, uh, you know, for graphic designers that you, 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 that you are, you understanding color theory is very, very important. You know, it helps you to improve your color sense and also create a harmonious design with pleasant color combinations. You know, not that you do a design, I do what people refer to as color riot. So, we must be very, very careful. You have the freedom, you know, to interchange colors and see the colors that blends whatever you are designing. Your primary colors, as we all know, you have red, yellow, and blue. And from these primary colors, we can get our secondary colors. When you miss uh, the primary colors, you can get colors like purple, you can get green, you can get orange, and what have you. Then your tertiary colors, you know, you can get colors that are red, purple, blue, green. You know, when you get your primary colors and you also mix them again with the secondary colors, you know, you get your tertiary colors. All right, so we'll not be talking much on the color theory. This is something we improve upon every day. As you keep designing, you improve upon it. So now I'm heading over to see how we can uh, design uh, a complementary card very, very fast. So uh, I need a shape. Let me zoom up, zoom in. So I need a shape, your rectangle too. So I just drag it out. And now uh, I need a measurement. So just drop, you can press your space bar or you can get your pick two over here. Yeah, you can get your pick two over here, you know, to do whatever you want to do. All right, now uh, after, after drawing out this, the next thing to do, uh, you know, work with dimensions. Work with dimensions. And when you, when you go over to your property bar over here, over here, you see you have your dimensions. Uh, this is for your uh, your height, your width and height. This is for your width, and this is this is for your width, and this is for your height. Okay, so now uh, let let's say we're doing a measurement of 2.8 for your width, and then this is for 1.5. All right, this is a, this is the size of the complementary card. I wish to design. So now, oh, let's head on to. Oh, so, what colors do we think? I want to design a complementary card that has oh, just a normal background. Let's pick a background. This color, the powder blue, something like this. And uh, now, oh, let's let's subtract the blue. Let's let's subtract it a bit. What I mean by subtracting it? When you hold down your control key and you click on the white background. So the white color, let me use the word color. As you click in, you subtract it from the background. I want a complementary card that is as faint as this. You know what I just did? Hold on your control key and then you head on to your white and then you keep clicking and you subtract it from the color. All right, so let's go on to populate this. So uh, I, I want some sections of this. I, I, I come over here where you have your ruler these are where you have these dimensions these are your ruler so these are horizontal you can actually drag out some dimension here you can also drag out from here so anywhere you want it to uh, anywhere you want the dimensions you can. they help you to measure yeah they help you to measure so 
I want something that I will have then I want to divide this I need the name of the manager here and the way I want to design this I I really need some logo here yes I'll need some logo here and uh, also more about the business uh, the logo and maybe the address maybe the logo can be here yes and then the address so some sort of nature you know, it's your choice you could divide this anyhow you want to divide it so here will be the business name the business name will be here and again over here i would like to put up the services that the business you know uh, run the services that the business run so let's continue or oh, we're going to use some names so i type mr john a Click again the, the managing director. All right. So, so this you can you can hold your shift key and select these two test. And you can reduce the font to like something smaller. Yeah. So you just put it over here. Let it just be there. I have the position for it. Then here is going to be a logo. Let's see if we can get a logo. Uh, I just go on. I import. I just go on I get the import control I um, I need to get a logo could be anything then for instance let me just use a stethoscope so I double click and then drag that somewhere here and this is how it's gonna be yeah a stethoscope and uh, over here I need the address of the business the address so I, I can just come over here you say uh, mountain you know it's good you use the font size you use the font size so you don't type in a large surface area you don't type and cover a lot of area so I uh, write something like uh, uh, okay you can actually draw out after clicking your test tool you can just drag out to cover this area something like this and then change your font size to something small and then I can type mountain avenue here the name of the business I can type I just click anywhere there uh, reduce the font size so you could work with something you know a small area and then here I type or uh, mountain view mountain view medicals all right mountain view medicals I I can since this space this space is not too large for me I could double click right inside my test here over here and then break it off here and then when you've done that just do your control a and control e control a to select and then control e to centralize and then i place it here and then i'll have something like our uh, services for instance so let's reduce the font size to 11 and then write our services okay so the services i want it to be separate to sorry want it to be separate let it be there and then i'll start typing all right oh uh, wow well, services like oh uh, services treatment let's say treatment of uh, myocardial infection and then we'll, we'll have a uh, overall blood checkup just uh, random random tests analysis random blood tests okay so to that nature okay let's just for example so all this I'm going to set control a centralize them too okay let's these are the things I need for this design so let's start to purify the work now for watch it out I I I want to get a different color for this 
for this space here so this is what i'm going to do i already marked out the area i, I want to put the color and the color should, should not be far from orange but something not far from this your orange so what i'm going to do uh we talked about power clipping in one of our classes so what to do just draw a bus a rectangle and after drawing it you just head on to your effects go to power clip place inside frame this is your frame so place it inside after placing it inside you just uh, hold your control key and then click inside the frame it's like uh, what you're doing what you just done is editing the power clip you know uh, function so i bring this shape i just cover all the areas mind you i'm taking note of that line that i've used for my dimension so this is it after then i'll put in this orange color mind you i don't need the outline so if you want to uh, uh, do away with your outline the outline is black even if you look at it it's black outline so what you do you just come here and right click on this right click on these if you don't want to right click on this or uh, x uh, this boss mask x you could actually come back to your uh where do you have it now your outline pen and then you say no outline you see the x that you see here is the same x that you see over here so whichever way you want to do it's so no outline uh, after i'm done i i, I, could, I can actually hold control key and click outside i can still go on to right click here and then finish editing this level so you click and it finishes so let's arrange here now so we have let's zoom in we have john so let's get a very good font for it let's say this is john mr john and let's give it a white hello and then he's the managing director the managing director should come with a style that is uh, maybe star uh, something a font that is stylish you know something like this is not bad he's the managing director all right yeah okay this is what we have now yeah oh uh, which color can we go do you know yellow can be fine there too yeah you can go there very yellow can be fine okay so now having done that if you notice something these are two different test buses mr john a is different test bus test yes test is different test so if you notice they may not even you to be sure that they are centralized properly aligned just highlight two of them this way and then on your keyboard press your c yeah you see what has happened the managing director has actually moved to the part so this is how i want the mr john a manage the director to be but then sometimes you may change how you want it to be let's say i don't want it to be this uh, let's do away with this i don't want it to be at this angle i want them to be at the center of this right angle so what i do i will highlight both of them hold my shift key and select my main box which is this there's a frame i select the frame and then i also press my c the c you see the thing goes to the center Oh, so you can zoom in zoom in again uh, let's see if we can take this a bit up and then expand it a bit all right so that's what we have now um this is our logo yes yeah, so i drop it i reduce it a bit from to other nature that's how i want to be now uh this mountain view will get a, a quite a very good one for it now if you notice something uh between the first line mountain view and the medicals there is a space in between here that space can be taken care of if you want to reduce it by picking your shape to this is your shape to so when you click on your shape to you come over here here where the arrow is pointing down and then you drag it up see what happened so that's that so having done that i'll need to expand this a bit i want it to cover a very large area somewhere this way yeah so that's a uh, mountain view so we, must, we may give it the color uh, which color do you think will go where uh, uh, you can get it a blue of this nature uh, yeah i can give it a blue color and then this can be increased a bit all right and the uh, services we can come here get something like services so you have a lot of font to play around with yeah so let me just get something else services it can be red then these are 
services we practice and then then get a font to use I need want to use this font to be of our services and then over here I can still repeat the same font and then uh, maybe highlight control A highlight and then centralize it hope we're following so that's how we come up with this now uh, to, to make something different uh, you, you could ask as well you know this, this is just a, a typical of a logo if you can use a logo of your choice yeah so you may even decide to put this and close this in a circle so I can as well draw this side a circle something to this nature and then give it a, maybe a white color and then you see the white colors has actually hidden uh, our stethoscope so you do control key and then you will find where it is written page down pg down so you do your page down and the circle will go back to give you that the circle will go back so that your stethoscope will confront so that is how we work with that and then the mountain view you could decide to give it a white outline but why mind you we talked about giving outline let's go to f12 or you come over here you come over here and you get your outline pen which is f12 i want to increase the thickness of this line but beyond that i want to take it behind so that it doesn't you know eat up the the blue that we use in coloring the test so i go to my f12 and i increase the thickness to like four and then i have to take it behind few but if you want the edges to be curved you cannot change the corners instead of a sharp corner or a meter corner you take it to a round corner and you say okay so this is what we have if it's too thick you can press on f12 and take it back to three it is too thick let's say two the two is not bad so you have something of this nature you can give this this color or something of this nature depending on the color that you know blends well whatever you're doing so let me for now let me leave it at black you can make it bold yes and then services can also have the white f12 to take it behind and then you have some of this nature so this is just a simple then I, I, when you're done this outside shape the outline should be taken care of remove the outline you come over here and you right click on this it comes up you know so this is just a typical way you know, this this is our address you can beautify it or you could you could even come over here you know from your and get your two point line you draw a line hold down your control key and draw a very straight line and then position it somewhere here you're trying to run a demarcation between the address and then uh, the services so you color this red then there you are so this is just a typical work you could run so let me just uh, zoom it and then press f9 you see this is how it goes so when we have to look at it and see if the color blends well you may need a, a different blue maybe on a black outline it will still give you something good you know you could as, actually go over here you know your color and then change it to this blue you can get different blue and i was telling you something about you know color theory you know there are some colors that are subtractive and there are colors that are additive one of the subtractive colors we have is cmyk but uh, for additive colors you have just like rgb rgb you know, these are the colors you see on your screens your phones your uh, television screens your gadgets these are the kind of colors they use but the cmyk you know has to do with most of the things uh, looking at the offset printing in the printing presses the printing press machine the press they use the cmyk you look at your newspaper your newspaper most of the machines that produce it they use the cmyk color models so for here i'm going to use the rgb so that i can get this color and then this is it on the white outline this is how it looks like so this is how we work with this i can hold on this hold your shift key and drag it in a bit and mr john 
yeah, something of that nature. So this is how we can come up with a little, you know, design. We are just starting to, something like that. That's just simple design you could do. You know, I mind you, before you design, you have to set out how, where, and where you are placing what. You know, so you don't confuse the whole process. So that whatever you are doing, you know, will have whatever test you are typing will have a place you have already fixed for it. So this is what we have for today, you know, about designing a simple complementary card. And then uh, as we keep going, we'll be touching other things so that you become conversant with how you can model a complementary card. Thank you for your time.